Welcome to Mona Lisa Tarot, your monthly guide to self-awareness. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is your message for September 2021. I'm a little late this month and I apologize. Let's get started with the reading. The first card is of the Language of Flower deck and you got African Violet, Spirituality. It's time to connect with what you believe. And the emphasis, Pisces, is on you. If up until now you have been connecting to the beliefs of others in regard to spirituality, to people that are indoctrinated by certain religions and you didn't feel it but you felt you had to do it to not disappoint them, you're now free to choose your own spirituality and to express it. And this is the month, September, for you to connect with what you believe, to express it. If you would like to share what your perceptions of your spirituality are, then you can share them with people that are like-minded. So this is the message of the African Violet, to focus on holy matters. Here is the biologic name, Saint Paulia. And that means you're supposed to focus on saintly matters, on holy matters, on your own spirituality and who you really are. And how do you do this to connect with what you believe in that you meditate regularly so that you will be able to connect with your spirit guides and angels? The next card is Surrender defensiveness and it says underneath to communicate in a more empowered way stay centered and hear someone out this is not referring to other people necessarily but rather the hearing someone out is referring to your guides and angels and staying centered means focusing on the meditation, connecting with the universe, connecting with your guides and angels. They will offer you a clear response. They will give you answers to whatever you ask for. You will learn to communicate in a more empowered way with them. Surrendering your defensiveness in this sense means you no longer have to abide to the perceptions of others, whatever their beliefs are in regard to spirituality. You know who you are. You need to connect with what you believe. Stand within your light. The next card is Deceit. And this card refers again also to you. If you do not meditate regularly and if you do not connect to your spirituality, if you do not seek to communicate with your guides and angels, then this red curtain could close on you. Your light could be dimmed a bit more. Don't fall for what was once, what others believe, what their perceptions are. Don't fall. It is like a deceit. It is not who you are. Number 25 is a 7 and this card says 
your angels and guides are protecting you if you allow the connection if you allow your spirituality to emerge strongly this month this little candle could shine as bright as this light we see in this card once you surrender your de defensiveness the next card is confidence from connecting with your inner world connecting with the universe a tremendous confidence arises in you and makes you soar like an eagle you feel a strong connection between the earth and the universe the planets your guides and angels and your connection your communication intensifies it becomes very empowered and you will be able to hear them on a regular basis and they will speak to you and you will speak to them in a more empowered way the next card is the ten of wands it says working too hard or too many hours the need for balance in life let others help you this card also means that you are having excessive responsibilities it could be like if you were married and had children and your husband leaves all the education the watching of the children to you and you have to run the household you have to go to work and you come home and do homework with them and somehow your husband is invisible this means that numerous responsibilities are burdening you because this is your situation you know you must develop your capacity to handle this load even if you would be overwhelmed more often so in order to maintain your energy completely this all can feel very heavy and burdensome because you're gonna have to put in a lot of effort what this card means is that for many of you as you're going through spiritual growth this month you need to accept the burdens they actually benefit your growth at the same time this 10 indicates <clears throat> very soon you will start a brand new cycle and let's see what the next cards indicate in this regard if they already reveal what is to come about what are your possibilities joy you delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do although you're burdened you have not lost joy and you delight in the love of life you share this joy with others around you let's say you have these children your colleagues even your partner in life joy i don't know if you know is the highest of all emotions is the number one on the list of positive emotions you are a very bubbly person as we see here 
you may work this month on your chakras, the heart chakra, the solar plexus and the navel chakra. Here we have the crown chakra, the third eye and the throat chakra. So you work a lot on your mid and higher chakras. This may contribute to bring you even more joy in life. And with this card you really discover that you love to serve others. This is the greatest of all joys you feel when you can serve others. And it could be in the field of spirituality as you develop it more and more, your connection. And you could speak to others about your spirituality, how you do it to connect with your guides and angels. And you're able to explain once you surrendered your defensiveness of no longer needing to comply with the perception of others in regard to spirituality, that you started to become more and more in tune with the vibration of joy. And being able to delight in the love of life in all you do, this month Pisces, although you have all these struggles, you recognize that through your connection with the divine and through your joy and love of life, they are less of a burden and that they actually are a catalyst in allowing you to shine your light. The last card is by the deck of Daniela Port, Truth Bombs, and you got what do you really want to happen? And the emphasis is on the word you. The answer I'm getting for you is that you want to co-create your own reality. You wish to co-create within your spiritual beliefs. You want to co-create and connect with what you believe. When you co-create, you live an empowered life filled with confidence and joy. Pisces, I hope you enjoyed this reading and let me know at the bottom in the comment area what your thoughts are and please subscribe and like my videos. I see you again in October.